Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to explain how to diagnose the CAN bus. And this time, I explain the body CAN or low speed CAN on this car. For doing this, I explain how to find the body CAN on the wiring, how to test it with the multimeter, and how to test the body CAN with an oscilloscope. As you guys may know, we already have a couple of videos for different type of network on the car, including the high speed CAN, lean network, and even the K-line. Uh, but the diagnostic procedure for the body can is way different from the high speed can. So that's why on this car, I'm gonna explain uh, what is the body can, what are the differences between the body can and high speed can, how you can find it. So we're gonna check the voltage, we're gonna read the waveform of can high and can low, and uh, I'm gonna explain everything related to the body can. All right, you guys can see the wind diagram for the CAN bus right now. Uh, and if I zoom it a little, you see the ABS ESP, you see the aircon, air bank, electric power steering, even engine, transmission, they're all connected to this CAN bus. So basically, uh, CAN bus is used to minimize the wiring and for sharing the information at high speed. So when we are using the high speed CAN between all these control units, we are actually minimizing the need for the wiring and we are sending the information at really high speed, which is between 125 kilobit per second to one megabit per second. And as I explained in the other video, the diagnostic procedure for high speed CAN is to check the voltage and the resistance on the high speed CAN. But of course, when it comes to the low speed CAN, everything is different. First of all, where's the low speed CAN? As you see on this part of the wiring diagram, we have the B can. So basically what we see here as C can is high speed can, and this B can is actually referring to the body can or low speed can. So as we see on this car, we have the BCM connected to the body can, instrument cluster, and the smart key control module, these three are connected to, to the body can. And of course some units like instrument cluster is connected to both high speed and low speed can because instrument cluster works as a gateway between the high speed and low speed can. But generally the main difference between the body can and high speed can is the speed. So because generally uh, body can is used for communication between the control units inside the car, including the BCM, uh, sometimes driver door module, assist door module. If you have the power seat, power seat can be connected to the body can as well. So generally uh, those units inside the car that are not as critical as other control units like the engine transmission, uh, air con and airbag. It means the speed rate of body can is much less than the C can. And it's gonna be between 10 kilobit per second to 125 kilobit per second. So this is the main difference. The other one is actually the voltage. So when you guys are checking the voltage on the body can, you shouldn't expect exactly the same voltage reading as you have on the high speed can. The voltage is gonna be different. Right now I'm gonna show you how to read the voltage. And the other one is of course the waveform. If you check the waveform of the body can with the oscilloscope, you're gonna get something completely different. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to find the body can on the car, how to test it with the multimeter, and uh, how to read the waveform of the body can. So as we see on the wind diagram, this body can is connected between BCM, smart key control module, instrument cluster. So this car doesn't have a smart key control module. This car comes with immobilizer. We only have BCM and instrument cluster on this car connected to the body cam. So for finding the body cam, you can uh, go for the connector on BCM or instrument cluster on this car. So as you see, we have two wires because CAN bus normally is using a pair of twisted wires. For example, these two wires, one of them is uh, can high, the other one is the can low. So it doesn't really matter if the can bus is high speed or low speed. We have both can high and can low, and they are a pair of twisted wires. So basically we can find a connector on the BCM or instrument cluster, and we can find these two wires uh, to check the voltage or the waveform. Or the easiest way is to find this joint connector. As you see, this, all these uh, can bus high and can low, they are connected to each other through this joint connector. So this joint connector, which is used for the CAN bus high as well, it's actually JM02. If I click on this one, so this is the connected details. And here is the location. 
this is this is JM02 joint connector just next to the uh, interior fuse box so in this car I have already removed this part of the dash this is my interior fuse box and this is the and this is the joint connector that I was talking about so you can find the joint connector from this side as well so I can take it out all right so this is the joint connector for a uh, network which is of course for body can and for uh, C can so this is the color code uh, the brown one the white one I have pin number 919 or I can go for this one too pin 717 so here is actually 9 and 19 7 and 17 so you can use any of these two because they are connected to the body cam right now I'm gonna insert these props because for checking the voltage or waveform uh, I'm gonna need these ones so grab the joint connector so one here and this is the second one so just to remember the white wire with red prop is can low and the brown one with black prop is can high right now I turn the ignition switch on and now I'm gonna go for checking the voltage so you see the multimeter I select the voltage on my multimeter of course I have two props the red one is gonna go here so first of all I go for can first of all I go for the can low this one is a can low I insert my red prop over here and the black prop on the ground so as you see this is my reading so for the can low I'm reading uh, 4.88 something close to 5 volts and uh, as you remember on the high speed can we don't have 5 volts on each one of those two can high and can low one of them is 2.4 the other one is 2.6 when we measure the voltage with the multimeter but this one is actually 5 volt on the can low and if we go for the can high need to change the prop and ground on the body and as as you see the voltage reading is millivolt it's something close to the zero so basically when you're checking the can low you should get five volt and on the can high you should get zero volt when you are checking the with the with multimeter when we read the waveform you will see that the can bus voltage will change continuously when can bus is working so right now i'm gonna go for checking the waveform on the CAN bus of course exactly on these two wires that I'm showing right now but we're going to use the oscilloscope to read the waveform and we see what's the minimum and maximum voltage on the body can this time uh, so today I'm using the launch oscilloscope this is the oscilloscope itself I have four channels on the oscilloscope I'm using two channels because I have CAN high and CAN low and my oscilloscope is connected to uh, my launch device exactly with the cable so on the device, I go for more toolbox and scope box here. For each cable on oscilloscope, I have two ends. Uh, one ground and the other one is gonna go for, for the prop itself. So I'm putting this one on the red one and, and the red is the can low. I just put it right here. And the other one should go for a good ground. Prop is connected. Let's have a look at here to read the waveform. So this is the waveform for can low on the body can. Uh, as you see, of course, the waveform is uh, changing very quickly because units are communicating. If I stop the waveform, you can read the voltage right now. So of course, this is the yellow waveform. We need to check the uh, yellow voltage reading from here. So as you see, the voltage is changing between five to something around zero volts. And as you remember, when you check the voltage with multimeter, you got five volts on uh, can low. So this is the waveform from the body can uh, when you check it with the oscillos. Uh, let's go for the can high. So right now I'm gonna put the second channel of oscilloscope on the can high. So just like this. And of course this one should be on the ground. All right, let's start the waveform and see what we are reading. So these two waveforms are actually on each other. 
So this is going to be the waveform when it's working. So this is actually the waveform from can high and can low. So this is exactly what we get when we read the waveform from a body can high and body can low, which is way different from what we get from the uh, high speed can. So this confirms that the can is working just fine. This is a good waveform. But what's going to happen if something goes wrong on the body can? We did exactly the same thing on the high speed can. I put a fault code on the high speed can as well to see if short to ground happens what's going to happen to that can bus and the other one so on the joint connector i have my props connected to the can high and can low and at the same time i have two other wires for the body can these two down here i'm using this one to make a short to ground on the body can on one of them uh, on the can low to see what's going to happen to the can low itself and can high i just put this one over here and I'm going to make a short to ground. I have already shorted the can low to the ground. Okay, from the other wire, as you see, they are not exactly the same wire, they, it's different pin. Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen to the waveform on the can low and what's gonna happen to the can high. If I set the trigger, So right now, as you see, can low is completely down, but can high is still working. So this shows on the body can, it, if one wire is down, the other wire works as a backup. So it was different on high speed can. If you remember, I did the same thing on the high speed can. If you have something like that on the high speed can, you see that any short to ground, any problem on one wire on the high speed can, uh, is gonna stop the operation on the other can as well. So if we have same scenario, if I make the short to ground on one wire on the high speed can, you see that there's not gonna be any waveform on the other one too, because the other one will be down too. But on the body can, if one wire is down, the other wire will be working as a backup. So right now here, if I change the short to ground from can low to the can high, So I already put the short to ground on the can high and let's see what's going to happen to the waveform. So right now as you see can high is down and can low is working to send a message which is a backup in case of failure. All right guys thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to check the description or the channel page for the other uh, videos on the network for the high speed can lean bus and k-line.